Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. And so, yeah, I'm going to give you guys my um, update review on the Google Pixel 6. And usually I do a day in the life video first before doing a review video. Uh, but now I'm putting the cart before the horse. Um, yeah. So if you guys want to see that day in the life with the Pixel 6 and how it, you know, function for my day to day usage, um, stay tuned for that video. And you guys will see that in a day or two on YouTube. But I wanted to dive into the Pixel 6 because, you know, I, I just, um, you know, put my SIM back into the Pixel 6. It's been a while since I used it. And I am right now enjoying using the device. I think it's really good. Um, for those that, you know, are like, well, what were the specs on it? Um, don't worry, I got you covered here with a quick overview. I'm not going to go into too much of its specifications. So this device launched with the first Tensor, the Tensor G1, which is a five nanometer of uh, octa-core processor. And uh, if you guys want to know what the cores are on it, basically it has two 2.8 gigahertz Cortex-X1s, two 2.25 gigahertz Cortex-A76s, and four 1.8 gigahertz Cortex-A55s, with the GPU being the Mali G78 MP20. Uh, came in two variants, the 128 and 256 gigabyte model. Both had 8 gigabytes of RAM with the UFS 3.1 storage. As far as for the cameras, so this camera sensor, the main one is a Samsung GN01. So they kind of moved away from Sony. And it is a 50 megapixel shooter with an F1.9 aperture rating, 25 millimeter wide angle shooter. You have the 12 megapixel ultra wide, which is an F2.2 aperture rating at a 17 millimeter lens with 114 degree field of view. And then the main, uh, not the main, but the selfie cam, is an 8 megapixel shooter at an f2.0 aperture rating. It is a 24 millimeter lens, which is basically a wide angle shooter. As far as video recording, uh, the selfie cam records in 1080p 30 frames per second, but the main camera sensor can shoot in 4K 30 and 60 frames per second, as well as in 1080p at 30, 60, 120, and 240 frames per second. It's got a, 400, a 46 14 milliamp hour battery wire charging at 30 watts so for fast charging and then wireless charging at 21 watts um just to name a few things about it the display itself is a 6.4 inch display it is an amoled display and it is corning gorilla glass victus so um, some durable display well aside from the specifications of this thing and aside from the fact that most people will just talk about the camera the cameras are good uh, trust me, you guys will see that in the day in the life video. I'm definitely going to take some photos with the Pixel 6 and just kind of show you guys what it can do. But just for the sake of an update review on this, um, I think one of the big reasons I gravitate towards this device, you know, is the aesthetics of it. OK, the design, uh, the way that it looks, the two tone color are things that I miss from Google Pixel phones now that they're going with a solid unified color on the body. The two tone color, I think they should definitely bring back. The aesthetics of the matte black metal rails on the side, coupled with the black camera bar, is pretty good. I really wish that what they would have done instead of having this big sheet of glass here for the cameras, if they just did what the Pixel 6a did. You can achieve having like a, you know, metal uh, camera bar with a cutout for the two lenses right there. You could do that because that was done in the Pixel 6a. If I turn it a certain way into the light, you can see the cutout where the camera sensors are the rest of it remains to be a you know plastic uh camera bar all the way through and i think that they should have done that with the pixel 6 because that's the only kind of like you know compromised integrity of the device is if you drop it anywhere here all this could spider crack so you have to be careful with that uh, you can get you know um, a glass protector for the camera bar and you know of course wrap it in the case i would say so because this is in fact glass um I don't mind it being shiny. Of course, I've had this device for a couple of years now, so the oleophobic coating has worn off. So it's not as slick as it was day one out of the box, but that doesn't mean that you should put this on a on a slanted surface without a case because it still can slide. It's still slippery. Um, as far as it for being, you know, the Tensor G1 processor, I know a lot of people have problems with it in its early stages. Uh, a lot of bugs have been ironed out over years of uh, software security patch updates and pixel feature drops. And yes, this is slated to get Android 15 um, 
you know, I can actually throw it on Android 15 beta right now. So, uh, but I believe that's going to kind of be it for this. Um, because it started off with Android 12, uh, worked its way into Android 13 and Android 14 currently right now. So that's already two major OS updates. And Android 15 will be the third. After that, it'll just be security patch updates for the next two years. And then it's life is done. So uh, 2026 will be the end of life for the Pixel 6. Uh, kind of fitting there. But as far as, you know, how it performs as a Tensor G1 processor, nowadays in 2024, it's really responsive, really smooth. I have no problems with it at all whatsoever. Uh, it runs all the apps that, you know, I needed to run with no problems at all. No stutter, no hiccup, no jank. Um, compared to the Pixel 6 Pro, which does have the additional telephoto camera sensor and a little bit of a larger display, uh, I would always go hands down to the Pixel 6 because I prefer flat displays than curved displays at the edges. I just think the curved displays at the edges uh, compromises the uh, integrity of the display and bumps and little drops are more easier to crack with the curved display than a flat. So that's just my reasoning, right? Everyone has their preferences. Don't worry. I'm not saying that flat displays better than curved. I don't really like participating in those types of uh, back and forth debates over nothing, honestly. Um, as it sits and runs right now, like I said, it runs smooth. And the battery life is, you know, pretty decent. Um, it, basically, in my little battery meter here, it says that I could run it till about 1245 a.m. And the way that I'm running things right now, and I've been, you know, just uh, downloading and uploading a lot of things. So this is not a, you know, I mean, you'll see in a day in the life about the battery. The Pixel 6, solid device, honestly. Solid device, very good. Very good for, um, you know, anyone out there that wants to, you know, have a pretty decent phone but doesn't want to spend a lot of money. You can find this, this model right here. You can probably find it for like, you know, 220 bucks, 250 you know, even as low as $180. I've seen people go $175. Um, so that's a hell of a good deal on uh, getting something like this. I think the, the biggest benefit of the Pixel 6 is that it's got a very nice large display for those that want to watch, you know, just like just YouTube and movies and stuff like that. It's got a nice sounding speaker for audio. Not the best. OK, I still feel like that my Pixel 4 XL does pretty good with audio. But um, yeah, this is no slouch when it comes to that. Uh, the cameras are decent. You're going to get very good photos out of it. Um, and if you shoot in RAW, you can use things like, you know, Lightroom or Snapseed to really just kind of spruce up your photo shots. But if you're just going to do point and shoot, you're still going to get a great photo out of it. And videos recorded with the Pixel 6 are pretty solid for those lasting memories that you want. It's not Steven Spielberg type, but it'll get the job done. Um, those are like my thoughts right now. Of course, I'm going to deep dive more into my thoughts of the Pixel 6 with the day in the life video to kind of just, you know, take you guys through my day as I'm using it. But that's what I got to say right now for the Pixel 6. If you guys enjoyed the video, give a like on whatever platform you're watching this on. I would appreciate that. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.